Alright, so check it out. I want to show you this cool video game that I made. It is called Just Because There Are Stairs Doesn't Mean You Can Climb Them. And it's a cute little game that I made using the Unity Game Engine and I made it for my 3D animation class. And when it starts, it starts off with this flashy display of stairs that you can't really climb because, you know, they're just floating around. Not necessarily <laughs> pointing up in a way in which you can climb them. And the best part about them is that as soon as you touch them, they fly away from you pretty violently. Boom. <laughs> much like that guy. Um, pretty much every single stair in this world is coded much in the same way as uh, <laughs> pretty much that guy. And... Uh, there really isn't any objectives to this game, um, because uh, I didn't really have that much time to work on this, because I worked on this during final season, uh, on this one specifically hard semester that <laughs> I didn't really enjoy the final season for that, and um, I threw this all together, and I'm really proud of how it came out, and... <laughs> I actually have a lot of fun trying to get up to the ceiling. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I've played this game for at least two hours already and I've never actually made it to the ceiling. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I guess I can release this officially now as if <laughs> the goal is actually completable. Um, what up? Anyways, um,. My 3D animation professor told us that he just wanted to see uh, a little showcase of the things that we worked on in class, and so yeah, I threw this together, and uh, I made sure to include this uh, little hand camera guy. Uh, it was one of the first things that I've ever modeled, and I remember I was trying to figure out how textures work. I was having a really hard time, I was really stressed out because the deadline to turn it in was coming up, and what I decided to turn in was um, a screenshot of the Maya software being really mean to me, uh, and like giving me errors, uh, telling me that the textures weren't working, and I decided that I was going to apply that as a texture, and I turned it in, and the professor actually ended up loving the idea. Uh, because he thought it was ironic, which honestly it kind of was. <laughs> and I, I love how it came out, so I decided to include it in the final project uh, because of the fun little story that comes with it, and I also included this uh, little dragon guy, boom, and I also included another similar dragon guy, except uh, He's rainbow colored and he's also kind of ghosty and runs around whenever I run around. Um, <laughs> I actually decided to give the same uh, player controls to the, to the little dragon dude as the first person controller because you know, I just think he's really cute. He runs around whenever I run around. Uh, he gives the world a little bit more personality. I mean, not to, not to downplay. <laughs> these uh, very moody lighted stairs that are just flying around. Uh, I respect you guys. You guys give this one a lot of personality. But this little guy, this little guy, he's the star of the show. Look at him go. Ooh. Uh, you can actually change the cameras so that you can <laughs> play with him. Ooh, boom, boom. He dabs whenever you jump. Ooh, dab on them hoes. Dab on them hoes. <laughs> Yeah, um, that, that was really fun to work on, too, and, <laughs> dude, I really love how these blocks just <laughs> run away from you so violently. Uh, yeah, wow, this is, this is a great experience. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, I, I hope you enjoy the rest of your life also, uh, because you're amazing, and... Uh, thanks for watching. I would, did not expect anyone to watch this much of my shitty game and my shitty video. Boom.